Ashley Skeva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about versions, which is a new feature in Mac OS X Lion. Now, versions is great because let's say you're working on a long-term project, and at some point you go, gosh, I wish I had this piece that I changed but now I, I really want to get it back. I want to put it back into this particular project without having to also undo all of the other changes that you've made. That's what versions is for, and we're going to check it out right now. So I've been working on the Tekka quarterly newsletter, which is my favorite thing to do here at Tekka. Now you can see that um, I have this, this great file here, and I've got you know a couple of different articles, Lol Cats and You, a practical guide, because that's what we like here at Tekka. But um, you know what? Maybe I don't want to talk about lolcats. Maybe I want to feature a family from Tekka that I had many, many versions ago before I did all of this extra work. So what we're going to do is we're going to use versions. Now what we have to do to get to versions is you're going to go to the name of your file, which is in the top middle of your screen. So you can see right here it says Tekka Quarterly. And when you click on that, you get a lovely drop down list and it will say lock duplicate, and browse all versions. Browse all versions is what we're looking for. So once we click on browse all versions, you're gonna see the version screen come up. You can see on the left, that is the current file that we are working on. And these on the right are the files that we used to be working on. So what it does is it actually makes a new version every hour, or you can manually create a new version by using Command S. Let's say we want to go back a little bit farther and not lose our work. So you can see there's a few different versions here. And uh, you can see this one is quite a bit different. It has a picture of a family instead of a cat. And it has a different headline here. Tekka family models for J. Crew catalog. That's big news here at Tekka. I like that article a lot. So what we're going to do is click on that particular version of our file. Now here's what's cool about versions you can actually click on that particular picture and you'll see it will give you a changing box and you can actually just copy it by using command C and you can actually go over to the left side into the document you're currently working on, click on where you would like to put it and hit paste with command V and you can see that picture's in there. Super easy to do. If you click anywhere outside of your particular files it will zoom out again and show you that very nice far away view of all the different versions of the document you have. You can also see on the right hand side of the screen there's a timeline. So when you hover over it you can see it gives you these very nice bars and you can see all the different versions here in light gray that will tell you when exactly you saved and you can actually look at them by clicking on them. Once you're done with that, very very simple, you hit done. And once you're done, It'll take you right back to your editing window. And that is how to use versions in OS X Lion. It's a really cool feature. I definitely recommend that you check it out if you are using versions. A word to the wise though, one of the things about versions is that it's not quite out for every single application yet. It's only available on a handful of first party Apple software programs like Pages. So it will be rolled out over time though, so don't worry. You'll be seeing versions very, very soon on your favorite application. That's versions on OS X Lion. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we will see you next time.